Hey everybody, Max here from Max Playground and welcome to a Sims 4 Create a Sim video. So it is the 3rd of June, yeah I had to check that, the 3rd of June and it is um, kicking off Pride Month guys. So happy Pride, happy Pride to all my LGBT, my fellow LGBTQ2 community. I am I'm super excited to be doing this voiceover, also a little bit nervous because I've never really talked about it on my channel. I've talked about it in my streams, but I've never brought it to my channel before or a lot. I don't believe I have. I don't remember if I've really talked about this kind of stuff before. Um, I did miss the Pride stuff last month or last year, basic, basically because I really wasn't sure how to open up a conversation about it. Um, but, you know, as time has gone on, people who are not new to my channel know or not new to my streams know that I am a very open book now. I, I'm not one to hide stuff when it comes to my views on certain things, so therefore I I really do want to start off this voiceover by saying that, you know, um, I really want you guys or whoever's listening to this and if they're struggling with this topic or coming out to their loved ones or their friends and stuff like that, their, com their community, um, I really want you guys to know that you have support all around you on like everywhere you go. Well, not, I won't say everywhere, but you do have support. Um, there are people who will accept you. There are people who have gone through some of the things that you have gone through. You are not alone. You are not alone. And for one minute, do not think that you are alone going through this because you are not. Honestly, if you have access to a computer, there it's everywhere on the computer that are sources for you. If you have access to a phone, there are sources for you. Do not feel like you are ever alone. Um, when I was growing up, um, I, I discovered some things about myself and I discovered that I am pansexual. Now, it's not something that I have really talked about a whole lot, but, um, when I was about 17, I discovered by experimenting that I, yeah, I, I'm a pansexual. Now, a lot of people get pansexuality confused with bisexuality. Now, pansexual is, it's without gender. It's attracted to the person doesn't matter what gender they are um it doesn't matter if they're male female if they're trans it's not about their gender roles it's about that person whether it's like you know a, physically or mentally um you know their their personality it that's what really attracts me to the person um you know and it's something that i struggled with in a sense that i didn't really know how to talk about it with people that i cared about um one of my best friends was gay growing like when I was you know as I was in high school and one of my really good friends that I hung out with all the time was gay but it's not something that I ever really talked about because you know I was dating a guy at the time when I discovered this and it just wasn't something that I felt that I could express without getting sideways looks and I was worried about how I was going to be viewed with it and it wasn't something I struggled with internally just struggled with coming out about it and um, acceptance from my parents now my father is a very religious man. He practices Islam and he's Muslim. He practices Islam and he's from Iran. Now, it is very taboo in that religion. In most religions, it's very taboo and it's very taboo in his country. People are still punished by death when they are discovered to be homosexual. Now, that hurts my heart. I it, it I can scream about it and I can curse about it and I am so disgusted by that. It very, very, very much bothers me. I am an advocate. I am an ally for the LGBTQ community. I work with um, youth that are going through things like this in my job. And it's just something that I'm very open and always willing to talk about. Now, I've never really been able to express it to my father. He still does not know. And that is basically because my father and I don't have a very good relationship already to begin with. So there's that. Um, I have expressed it to my mother and growing up, you know, when I expressed it to her, I think I was about 21 and she kind of, 21 or 22, and she kind of just like pushed it aside and she told me like, you know, if you are a lesbian, I don't know if I could accept that. And I don't think it's because she's homophobic because she's expressed that she's not, even though, you know, kind of heads towards that way but 
she's always kind of just said you've always liked guys Malika you're crazy about guys that makes me sound even <laughs> kind of makes me sound bad but you know and it's just like yeah but I've just never really expressed it to you that maybe I'm a little bit crazy about girls too <laughs> so there's that and you know she didn't accept it at first and it was very hard for her to get a used to it but as I am 25 now and it's been over a couple of years and I've been you know introducing her to that idea more and more lately now I have been dating a guy for four years now and I'm in love with him I love him you know but it, it's still there it doesn't just go away because I'm dating a guy and I actually very recently um, tonight actually I shared a video on or not a video a, um, a picture on Facebook and my brother-in-law I guess you can call him my boyfriend's brother um, was just like, oh, I didn't know you were, and I'm like, yeah, man, like, it doesn't matter, like, it doesn't really matter to me, and that's the thing, like, um, my sexuality, it doesn't, it doesn't define me in a bad way, it doesn't define me in a good way, it's just part of who I am, and I don't feel like I have to, you know, I shouldn't have to prove myself to people in that sense, I shouldn't have to, shouldn't be the first thing I have to tell people. And if, if they should accept that, and if they don't, then that's their, that's their issue. That's not something that I'm going to go out of my way to tell people to, to, you know, to push it in their face. It's just something, it's like, yeah, if it comes up, yeah, I am, you know, I, I yeah, it's something I, you know, I can talk about. Or if people are talking about it, like, yeah, I, you know, that's how I identify myself as well. It's just not something that, you know, a lot of people that, but her friends of mine don't even know because it's just not something I feel the need to tell them. You know, if that, that if that makes sense, you, you feel me? Does that make sense to you guys? But yeah, I really just wanted to make this video. Um, this sim, I imagined her as being whatever the hell she wants to be. That's why I made her. She is a, ad she can be an advocate. She can be, an, she's an advocate and an ally. She could be gay. She could be, you know, lesbian. She could be trans. She could be whatever the hell she wants to be. And that's basically, you know, the pride about it. Having that pride and being who you are. And that's really what this month is to me. I plan to make a couple more videos. I hope to anyways. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. Remember, you guys, you are not alone. Happy Pride, you guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment below and hit that subscribe button if you really want to be a part of the playground. So, guys, hope you're having a wonderful day. Bye! She gets everything she wants when she gets me alone Like it's nothing She got two little horns and they give me a little mm.